All right, so today we're gonna be making furosa bond capsules. So we're gonna go ahead and weigh out all of our materials and in class you will learn how to weigh out the lactose. So we gotta go ahead and get this mixed together. Okay, so once you get everything all evenly dispersed with each other, you can just go ahead and just set this to the side. And then for this video, we are gonna show you how to put together the Pro Filler, just in case it's not already cut up for you in lab. So you go ahead and grab your base first, and then you're gonna have this little white plate, and then you can kind of see a zero right here. This is gonna be gone at the top, and as you, they're gonna go in this little hole because there's two little holes right here. And it should just perfectly fit in there. And then you're also gonna have these three little plates right here. And right here it says A, B, and C. So that's the order that you're gonna put them on here. And then as you can see in the bottom of the plate, it's gonna be A. And then you also have your zero up here, which is also always pointed towards the top again. Put that one on. And then you have your B. And then you have your C. And your C is also gonna be a lot thicker and heavier too. Right, so once you get that put on, you are gonna go ahead, you're gonna take this, and this is where you're actually gonna load the capsules into this. So this actually only holds 50, so you'll do 50 at a time. Just shake it, just stick it in place. So just move them around too. Sometimes they don't want to go exactly where they want to need to go. And then if for some reason you do end up having extra, which I do have one extra in this one, you can just do that and then pour it back into the bottle. Right. Okay, so I've got my capsules in here. And then so this one is actually going to be bigger than C. And this is actually going to go on the top. And these little numbers in the left-hand corner are going to be pointed here at the bottom. All right, and then once you get that on, these little numbers right here are going to correspond to which ones you're going to be filling at a time. And so they have these little prongs. So what you'll do is you'll just place it in one. You usually just start with two. And if, as you can see over here, it's actually in two. And then so what you'll do from here, there's little arrows that tells you which way you're just going to and they should all fall in. Then you'll just take this top part off, and if any are not in all the way, you can just push them down. And then you'll just go ahead and do this again. And then you're gonna put this right here at one. As you can see, it's at one. And then you're just gonna do this again, follow the arrow. They all fall in, you take off this top piece. And so all of your holes are filled now. So you can just set that filler to the side. And you can push them all down, make sure they're in there. And then once they're in there, you were just gonna take this clear piece up here and there's like a little lock right here um that's we're going to use that here in a minute so when you put it on you're going to want to put it in these bigger holes and so you're going to have to kind of do it sideways like that once you get them all in the hole all right so once you get that in you're just going to lock it and then you're, this little lever right here you're just gonna pull it out to kind of tighten to keep hold of the bottom part of these capsules. And then what you'll do is you're just gonna take this top piece, 
hold on to the little handles right here and then you're going to take this bottom piece right here you can see i'm kind of moving it you're just going to pull it straight up and all of your capsules are going to be in there and then here's all the tops make sure you keep this in the locked position because if you take it out of the unlocked all of these cap lids are going to fall out all right so once you get this you can go ahead and get this and this is actually just going to place on the top and this where it says pro filler it's just going to be pointed towards you and these will just go right here you might have to try to actually press it down just a little bit too and then so once you get this white piece on you can just go ahead and let go of this lever and push it back inside towards the machine and it'll make all of your bottom halves of the capsules fall down sometimes i might need a little assistance with your fingers and then from here is whenever you're going to go ahead and add your powder that i had you set aside earlier usually the best way to do it is just fold it like this make a little corner on the end and then you're just going to pour it all on here right. and then you're going to have this little scraper card thing and this is whenever you're just going to start filling and you can tap make little lines in it to try to get them all in there because sometimes scraping it across just doesn't do the job like it you think Right, and then once you think that you've got them all kind of filled, just take your powder and then just push it. I'll just push it up on this little white ledge up here. And then you're just going to take this, and then it's actually just going to go in the first few holes right here. Put it in. And we'll press down. I used to go ahead and do that for the other side and take it out. And then you will just go back to filling them. And then you're just going to repeat that again. Push my powder back up here. Press it down again. And then you're just going to keep continuing doing this until all of your powder is gone. And there's also a possibility you might have some extra just because you do calculate for 10% excess. And that's why you calculate for 10% excess. I'm just going to do it one more time. And then we can fit a little bit more in there. Okay, since I have quite a bit of powder left over. I'm just going to put that to the side. I'm just going to go ahead and scoot this over just a little bit. And I'm going to put my parchment paper here just so I don't get powder everywhere and then I have to clean it up. All right, and so from here is when you will go ahead and take this white part off. And just make sure when you do it, you don't actually like lift this up or anything. Because when you do, if you do, then half the capsules are just going to spit out, which you don't want right now. So I'm going to take that off. I'm just going to do this so I can pick up my powder easier later. I'm going to take this card bag. And just push it off the side. So 
So once you feel like you've gotten the least most of the powder off, you can go ahead and you're gonna grab the top half of your capsule again. And then just make sure you keep it kind of held together because you don't want it to move to the unlocked position because then all the tops are gonna fall out. So you're just gonna flip it back, still in the locked position. And then this will just go right back on like it did earlier. And then once they are on, you can go ahead, make sure your lever's pushed in. And you're just gonna take it, and this bottom part moves up. Just do this a few times while keeping your hand on the top. This is just gonna push the bottom of the capsules back up to the top part of the capsule so they'll close. And then once you do this, you go ahead and lift this up. That's also why you push in this, because if you didn't push in this, it'd be very hard to take these capsules out. So, with, again, once again, you're just going to lift it up like you did earlier. Lift them up like that. And they should all come out. And they'll all be right here. And then so what you'll do here is you're just going to push them down to make sure that they are locked. There's also a thing that you can use to make sure you get them all pushed in, but I personally have gloves on. I like to use my fingers just because I can actually feel if there's happens to be like one up. Sometimes when you're looking straight down, you might not be able to actually see that it's up. And here is just when I do this, just to make sure I don't feel any poking out. And then you can go ahead, take this. And then here's when you're going to go ahead and you're going to unlock it. Take that top part off. And then you have your capsules. And so now all you gotta do is just, you just push them out and something that might actually fall out. So I'm need a little help getting out too. All right, so you're just gonna go ahead and add your capsules. You can add them back into here. So this is what you're gonna have to end up labeling and giving to the patient. And then you can just do it. If you happen to have the two smaller bottles, you can just go ahead and split them 50-50, like we had them whenever you started. And then you're just gonna make your labels. There is a possibility you might have a big 60 gram bottle whenever you come in and do the lab and you can just put them in that. Then you clean up.